don't want more than 10 people to gather in one place? I got some bad news for them. Look at all these millennials, ages 2 to 80, or whatever the millennial age range is. Hey, I, I've got no less a clue than anybody else. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's Doug Funny Experience Football Spectacular. Live from the Stardome tonight, we have the Doug Funny Experience playing host to the visiting Doug Funny Experience. How exactly that's, well, that's possible, you, you explain that one to me. So, uh, Captain beating in the middle for the coin toss here. The experience is going to call heads on this. Referee very proud of his coin collection. And heads it is. Experience will receive. And on the other end, the experience will defend the South Goals if that matters. We are in a dome stadium after all. Doug Funny back to kick. And he boots that one, and that gets absolutely crushed out the end zone and through the uprights. I wish we'd give him three points for that kind of business. Here goes QB Eagles to work in this Doug Funny Experience offense. Hands off to Sister Christian. Boater ran. He's only going to get a yard on that one. Now lead us to second and nine here. Down. Eagles hikes it back to Boater ran. Sister Christian yet again only gets a yard on that one. Doug Funny Experience trying to establish the run early, but having a little bit of trouble against this Doug Funny Experience defense. QB Eagles drops back. He's going to float that one up to Leo Mikey Donraff, and it's bobbled, but he gets it. I knew I had to have it there for the tackle. So a doozy of a pass already to open this one. I think this is a fresh set of downs here. Hands it off Sister Christian. Motor ran. He's going to get two yards on that one. So far, about three runs for four yards, I think, for Sister Christian. I wonder if they're just trying to establish that run early or if they're going to bail from it any time soon. And QB Eagles tries to tuck and run there, but it's dropped pretty early. I think he only got a couple yards on that one. Maybe one, one or two. Third and seven here. QB Eagles drops back. He's going to chuck that one to 81. I believe that's Liam Gallagher. Yes, it is. Liam Gallagher with the completion. And Johnsonville Brott is down on the field for the Doug Funny experience. And as they tend to him, we'll get an update on him later. First down for the Doug Funny Experience. QB Eagles drops back, hands it off to Sister Christian. Motor ran, but he actually gets tackled for a one-yard loss. So, Bubba Land, I don't know. <laughs> hands it off to Sister Christian. Motor ran. He gets some of that back. He got about a three-yard gain there. We're looking at third and eight now. Let's see what they do here. Doug Funny Experience looking to put the hammer down here. Establish that defense early. QB Eagles throws that up and it gets bobbled and hits the turf harmlessly. It's going to bring us fourth down and Doug Funny with a long 51 yard attempt here. And it's up and it's wide to the left. No good. There is a flag on the play. Let's listen into the call. Roughing the kicker, kicker number 35, number 35 defense. defense. That's going to be a roughing the kicker call. That's a personal foul, 15 yards, and an automatic first down. So 
what would have been no points and a change of possession has turned into a fresh opportunity for the Doug Funny experience. Hands it off to Sister Christian Motor. Randy tries to get to that right edge there. Only gets about four yards. We're now staring down a second and six. Ball on about the 16-yard line. QB Eagles drops back, and he's going to take off running. Green grass in front of him. And that's going to be a touchdown. QB Eagles for the Doug Funny experience. So on that first drive, trying to get the run established with Sister Christian. I think, I don't know whether it succeeded the way they wanted to. Hard to say it did with that kind of production, but... I think they're trying to make them respect the run game there. They certainly didn't respect the run game on that one, and they paid for it. As QB Eagles scampers that one in, and Doug Funny splits the uprights with the extra point. Seven to nothing, Doug Funny experience. As we close out the first quarter here, Doug Funny's going to kick this one off, and a little debate there between I knew I had to have it and Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. And it's just going to kind of fall harmlessly in the end zone. And uh, Sir Digby Chicken Caesar is going to take a knee there for a touchback. It looks like we'll get one play out of this Doug Funny Experience offense before we call the quarter. Hands off Sister Christian. Oh, ran. He's going to get six yards on that one. And checking in on the sideline, there's Johnsonville Brott showing off the bionic elbow. Only three people have that surgery in the world. One of them's named Bruce Willis. The second's named Dusty Rhodes. And we're starting the second quarter. 7 nothing. Doug Funny Experience. Hands it off. Oh, no, he fakes the handoff there. And he's going to take off to the right, and he tried to get that first down. He might have been sure. No, they're going to say he got it. Mm, that's uh, debatable to me. Sure looked to me like he didn't get it. But it is still fairly early in the half, and you don't want to burn those timeouts. So I think they're going to let him go ahead and have that one. And QB Eagles throws a dart to big boy at midfield. And that puts him at about midfield here with 2.30 and counting left on the clock. Decent pass here, and they could be in uh, field goal range. And obviously, they want a touchdown. Motor ran. Sister Christian there with the handoff. Only gets a yard. And I don't know if they're going to get a playoff before the two-minute warning here. We'll see. Second and they do get one off before the two-minute warning. QB Eagles is going to roll out to the right, avoids a tackle there, and gets out of bounds, which is kind of irrelevant due to the two-minute warning stopping the clock anyway, but he does avoid the big hit there, which is important when you're a rushing quarterback like QB Eagles. Taking our sweet time here on the play clock. There we go. Doug Funny experience near the red zone here. Looking to tie this one up before the half's over. QB Eagles going to roll out to his left this time. Trying to shoot the gap there. Still gets the first down. And it's going to be first and goal for the Doug Funny experience. QB Eagles already on the day. Three runs for 38 yards. See if that translates to points on the board here. 134 and ticking. Doug Funny experience down 7 0, but they do have a shot here. Pass it to Big Boy, who's going to get that one into the end zone. I think QB Eagles might have been wanting to roll out there, saw somebody in front of them, saw the safety valve, and Big Boy over there. And Big Boy's got the big pants. And comfortably assuming the extra point goes through here, we're going to have a tie game with a minute 28 left in this half. 
Detroit. And the Doug Funny Experience has tied it up 7-7 seven to seven with the Doug Funny Experience. Big Boy letting you all know I can count to one, but the next number is not five. It is two, I do believe. In fact, I think there's a few no more numbers between one and five. Doug Funny's going to kick that one, and he's already put one out the back of the end zone. He's going to put another one out the back of the end zone. He's... It's kind of well known that Sir Digby Chicken Caesar's got that run away from the cop speed, and he don't want to give him a chance. Cuba Eagles drops back, puts that one up, and that's going to be bobbled and incomplete. There was contact just as the ball hit the receiver there. So far, QB Eagles with the one rush for 16 yards, but got the touchdown. Sister Christian with 10 yards. We'll see if they continue to establish the run here. Sister Christian motoring. That's exactly what they do. Only gets a couple yards on that one, and they, they're in a third and eight hole already. Sister Christian, three runs for two yards down the middle. Three runs for seven yards. We're going up the, around that left, that uh, right side, excuse me. Got to wonder if that's going to play a factor in later in this game. QB Eagles drops back. He's going to throw that one up and corner back, back, back. Puts a hand up on that one. Might have been picked off, but he just elects to knock that one down. The Doug Funny Experience is going to have to punt, which means the Doug Funny Experience is going to get another shot at this before the half set. Metaton's legs back, and Sir Digby Chicken Caesar's ready for this one. He's going to take off right around, I think, about the 35. He's going to get stopped at the 43. 51 seconds left in the half. Let's see what the Doug Funny Experience can come up with. Coming out in a five-wide set, no running back. So they're definitely looking to throw here. And just as QB Eagles goes to set his feet, I think that was Meme Machine number 90. I'm not completely positive, but I'm almost positive. Almost positive. Fakes the handoff to Sister Christian. He's going to roll out to his right is QB Eagles. He's going to get taken out of bounds. So now we're looking at a third and nine. Still probably longer than they won on third down, but a little more manageable after that sack. So four rushes and 50 yards already for QB Eagles today. He's going to throw that one, try to throw a dart to Big Boy there, but defense wasn't having any of it and deflected it down incomplete. So it's fourth and nine, and the Doug Funny experience is at about midfield here, and they are going to take a shot here on fourth down. Kind of a gutsy call, but at the same time, I think they got faith their defense can hold up. And QB Eagles is going to roll out right, and he's going to get upfield, and he gets the first down and then some. But he's tackled in bounds, which forces the Doug Funny Experience to use a timeout there. Leaves them with one timeout left on their own 30, or on their opposing 33. QB Eagles rolls back, sets his feet, throws that one to Big Boy. Big Boy having a heck of a game so far today. Seems to be the favorite target. Haven't seen much action for Liam Gallagher since that first pass. I don't think Zach Morris has gotten involved in this game yet, which is kind of surprising. Five seconds left. They let the clock run there. Throws it again to Big Boy, and he's going to be tackled at the two. But time expires. And so no points for the Doug Funny experience to end the half. Some baffling clock management there. That's the end of the second quarter. And due to that, we're going to go into the half tied. Doug Funny Experience 7, Doug Funny Experience 7. We'll be right back with the second half right after this. Thank you. 
We went to the big guy. We laid the whole thing out for him. We told him we had this great idea for a new game called Sonic and Knuckles. It's Knuckles in his own game. Plus, it has new technology. Lock on technology. So you can play Knuckles in Sonic 2 and 3. It's revolutionary. We just laughed at it. So we sold the whole thing to Sega? Who's laughing now? Fat man! <laughs> Better to give than to receive. Ah! Give it to him good when WWF WrestleMania slams out of the arcade and into your home. To thine own self, be true. Yeah! With the most true to life wrestling you've ever seen. Love thy neighbor. Ah! Love hurts in the World Wrestling Federation. Do unto others. Yeah! Do it to him first. Ah! WWF ah! WrestleMania, the arcade game for leading home systems from a flame. No pain, no gain. The clock will continue to run. Fourth down, seconds remaining. They're going to need to call a T.O. Yo, this is T.O. Game Informer calls it the one football game you must have. Yeah. And IGN says it will own your soul. Get ESPN NFL 2K5 from ESPN Video Games. Hey, how'd you get this number? Rated E for everyone. Welcome back to the second half of Doug Funny Experience Football. Going into the third quarter here, the Doug Funny Experience is tied 7-7 seven to seven with the Doug Funny Experience. Sir Digby Chicken Caesar takes this one. He's going to take it out of the end zone. And makes a couple moves there. Just looked like he was trying to maybe get upfield a little further. But he's only going to get to the 24. The QB Eagles is going to get another chance after some baffling clock management at the end of the first half. QB Eagles sees a lane there, and he's going to take it. Only going to get about nine yards on that run. I think he was looking for more there, but he gets caught from behind. QB Eagles so far a little more successful on the run than the pass. Hands it off to Sister Christian. Number 36. Not sure he got anywhere on that one, so it's going to leave us third and one. Hands it off again to Sister Christian. Motor ran. Going to get the first down on that one. Gets a couple yards. Fakes the handoff to Sister Christian on the first down play, and QB Eagles is going to take off toward the left. First down and then some. QB Eagles again, another doozy of a run there. You'd like to see him open up the pass game at some point, though. And an early timeout there might have gotten some confusion on the play call there. I hope that didn't come back to bite him. We'll see. 207 in the third is pretty early to be making those calls. First down about midfield. Hands it off to Sister Christian Motor ran, and he's going to get stopped a yard short of the line for a one yard loss. Second and 11 for the Doug Funny experience. Five wide, no running back. And QB Eagles, that line didn't hold up there, and he's going to get sacked by corner back, back, back. A corner blitz. Called it about the right time. Had he gotten rid of the ball a little quicker, they might be paying for it, but sending the house pays off on that play, and it's now third and 19 for the Doug Funny experience. QB Eagles is going to roll out to his left takeoff run, and he's going to get stopped again at midfield. That's going to force a fourth and five. And they're going to punt this one away. Kind of an interesting call considering the call they made at the first half to go for it even a little further back. He's going to punt this one, and that one's going to get out of bounds, I think about the five or the six-yard line. So a good coffin corner punt there by Metaton's legs. No return, and it forces, well, the eight-yard line. It's going to force the Doug Funny experience to start with the ball deep in their own territory. 
It's us, Sister Christian Motor, in. and he's gonna get off to that left, that right corner, and he is taken off, ladies and gentlemen. What is your price for flight? Sister Christian paid for it there. And what started with them deep in their own territory has got the Doug Funny experience out to the 42 on a run from Sister Christian. 34-yard run on that play. q is going to drop back on this one, throws it up there. And he gets that complete to number 82. I'm pretty sure that's Zach Morris. Zach Morris is not trash today. He's going to drop back hands off Sister Christian. No, ran. No gain on that one. Trying to see if he can recreate that last excellent run he had, but not happening there. And that'll end the third quarter already. Holy moly. I feel like I blinked and missed the whole time. So going into the fourth quarter, the last three minutes were still tight, seven to seven. what these teams do at the end of the half here, or at the end of the game. Hands off Sister Christian Motor in, and he's going to take off up the middle, and he's going to get the first down there on a 10-yard scamper. Sister Christian now with a couple impressive runs considering, uh, you know, who he is and how big he is and how he usually runs. 10 rushes for 57 yards today. Hands off again, Sister Christian Green. He's going to get stopped for no gain on that one. We're now looking at second and ten. We're almost at the two-minute warning, but the Doug Funny experience, I believe, is in the red zone now. Yep. Hands off, Sister Christian Green. And he gets stopped for a loss there, and now I believe they are up. They're right on the fringe of the red zone here. 20 yards to go for a touchdown, third and 12. As we hit the two-minute warning. This is a huge play right here for the Doug Funny experience. A first down here, and they might be able to run the clock out a little bit more before kicking a field goal or getting a shot at a touchdown. And QB Eagles is going to be sacked on that one. Heck of a play. I believe that was Black Knight 2000 that got the tackle there. It might have been Mean Machine. But we are now looking at fourth and 17. Doug Funny is going to come back out for the field goal attempt. Missed a 51-yarder, but it was drawn back for a penalty earlier in this game. They're going to let this clock burn. The snap, the hold, the kick right down Main Street. And the Doug Funny experience is going to take a 10-point, going to not take a 10-point lead, but they're going to have 10 points on the board and take a 10-7 lead. Leaving a minute and 17 left for the Doug Funny experience to either put a field goal up and tie it and possibly send this one into overtime most likely or even meet them with a touchdown and take the W. We will see. Sir Digby Chicken Caesar takes that one out, but only gets the 20 equal to a touchback. QB Eagles is going to drop back on this one, roll out to his left, and he's going to take off running. Gets out of bounds. So it stops the clock again, but you got to wonder if busting those runs out. Does he have time to be doing that? What if he's tackled in bounds? They've only got two timeouts left due to that confusion with the play call earlier. So that is coming back to haunt them here. QB Eagles drops back. He's going to throw that one up. And bobble by Zach Morrison. Intercepted. And the Doug Funny experience already with a three-point lead is going to take the ball back. What would have been 
a game tying or even a game leading drive there ends with nothing as the Doug Funny Experience picks it off off the deflection from Zach Morris and they take it right back QB Eagles takes over at the 50 about a minute left Sister Christian motor ran gets about two yards there and the Doug Funny Experience is gonna burn a timeout here to stop the clock 57 seconds left First down would pretty much put this game away. Let's see what they do. Hands it off again to Sister Christian. Motor ran, tries to get up that left side, but is stopped. And Doug Funny Experience is going to use their final timeout to stop the clock now. The Doug Funny Experience coming out in the victory formation as if they take a knee here. And that's what they're going to do. With no way to stop the clock, the Doug Funny Experience is going to have to punt this, but they're going to not leave a whole lot of time on the clock here. They're only going to leave about 10 or 11 seconds left for the Doug Funny Experience offense to come up with something. Especially if they pin him deep on a kick here. I mean, the Doug Funny Experience is going to have to come up with something here. They're, and they're not going to have a lot of time to do it and no timeouts as well. This might have to be a couple Hail Mary, Chuck and Praise. Minotone's legs with the punt and they're going to keep it inbounds. Sir Digby Chicken Seeds is going to get a shot at this on the right side. He only gets up to the 20. So now eight seconds left for QB Eagles to come up with something here. We'll see what happens. Four receivers and one in the backfield. But they're all going guns out. Straight sprint. QB Eagles throws that one up and throws that pretty much in the seven people that don't wear his jersey. That's going to be another pick. QB Eagles upset at that one. I knew I had to have it. Knew we had to have this to ice the game for the Doug Funny Experience shut up phone. And that ought to ice this one. And it does as time expires. Shut up phone. The Doug Funny Experience falls to the Doug Funny Experience 10 to seven. Thank you for tuning in for the Doug Funny Experience. We'll see you in season two.